Yo, X, I told you I got you, nigga. Yeah. This is what we do. Yeah. Tell me Round one. one. Four corners. Yeah. Four corners. Four corners. Four corners. Four corners. You know what it is and who it is, people. It's your boy Fight Night Dex, Four Corners Boxing, and we live and direct with the Prodigy, baby. Josue Vargas, the main event, Saturday night, Madison Square Garden, 140-pound match against Jose Zapita. Josue, talk to me, man. How you feeling? How you doing? How was camp? I'm feeling great, man. Just ready to rock and roll, you know. Had a hard training camp, tough one. Um, you know, now we're in New York in my hometown, about to, about to come out victorious for the WBC silver ch uh, title, so... You know, I'm, I'm just ready for it overall, man. Mentally focused and, and just prepare. I see you got some gold behind you right there. You're looking to add more to that. You're looking to add more to the collection, man. Yes, sir. There's nothing but a but a, a trophy to me, you know? Mm. Um, right now, we're gunning for the world title. So, with that being said, you know, I just got to stay focused, stay dedicated to my craft, and, and, and just be 100% ready. Original, Come fight night. Originally from the Bronx, started in Morris Park, you down in Florida now. How's life transitioning down to Florida? You've been down there for a minute. I see you made the official move now. Yeah, it's been almost a year. I moved in January, you know. Mm -hmm. I had to make that move to 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 focus more on, on, on my boxing career, you know. And plus, I have a four-month-year-old four son who lives in Orlando, so I got to support him and be there for him as well, watch him grow up, you know. Um, your dad now, your dad now. Yeah, be, yeah, I'm a dad now. Good shit. Being in Florida is, is a great feeling, man. I'm training hard all the time over there, you know, doing my miles in, getting my miles, getting the great sparring that I should be getting, and just overall just best life, man, best life out there. You got to make the transitions, man, that, uh, that how you say, uh, best, uh, 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 best for you in your career, and it's much respected. Uh, Saturday night's a Peter, tough. Tough fighter. We seen he was in the fight of the year last year, but then he came back this year. He looked a little, eh, looked a little sloppy. You've been calling for him for a while now. Top rank finally gives you the fight now in your hometown. How we take Zapita out? Well, we just got to be smart in there. You know, we got to be in our A game and just uh, uh, just focus on the tools that we've been focusing in training camp. And then what we're supposed to do, you know, um, he, I see he don't got a jab, so we definitely got to apply pressure and, 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 and use our jab and, and see what, what, what brings in the later rounds, you know. It could, it could go 10 or less, so we'll see what happens. It's a 10-round fight, right? Yes, sir. 10-round fight. Anything you've seen in his last fight? Because his last fight was a little, uh, you know, a lot of people weren't impressed after seeing him go into a war with Baranchek last year. He plays Hank Lundy, who is past his time. And he looked, he looked sloppy, man. He looked like he just wasn't ready for that type of fight. You think it was ring rust due to uh, COVID and put a lot of us out. You know what I'm saying? It put a, put a hold to the game for a while. Well, at the end of the day, style makes fight. You know, um, Ivory Baranche is a type of fighter. That he's rugged. Uh, he don't have no IQ. He's, a, just a, <laughs> he's just a tough fighter who got power and just want to swim for the fences. So, of course, a fighter like Zapata... Who box? Who who know how to box? And is a southpaw. Of course, he's gonna take him out. He was, he did what he was supposed to do. Mm. But let's not forget, he went down five times in that fight. And when Hank Lundy, like I said, style makes fight. When Hank Lundy, he ain't looked great because Hank Lundy is not a stupid fighter. He been in there with the best with Terence Crawford and mm -hmm. and many other fighters. Mm -hmm. And you know, um, we all black people, and and and, and Hank Lundy is is a black man <laughs> that he could fight, but at the end of the day, he just, it's not his, it's not his time no more. You know what I'm saying? He's a, a person who's 38 years old, 37 years old, I believe. So his, fo his footwork is not there no more. His leg is not the same. And for him to give a tough fight to Zepeda, that's, you got to question that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got to, you got to, you got to find out what's happening there. But he could look, he could look shitty as well Saturday. He could look the best Saturday. We just got to come and see. Because, you know, I'm not no stupid fighter either. I have a no, high not IQ. At all, not at all. I'm 23 years old, young, fresh fighter, you know what I'm saying, with a lot of footwork and, and a lot of hand speed. And I could crack, too. A lot of people don't know that. But Saturday night, here we come. Like I said, we're just going to wait and see what's going to happen. You see, that's what I like about you best because it's that uh, you have more than one style. I've seen yeah. you bully dudes, beat them down, 
and I've seen you box past dudes as well who could take the punishment early. Because Josue is hard, man. He's fast. And you're both southpaws as well. You got the southpaw in you. So it's a southpaw fight, the matchup. You fought any other southpaws in the past? Shit, I was just about to say I love fighting southpaws, <laughs> which is crazy. No, a lot of southpaws don't like fighting a southpaw, but me, I like fighting a southpaw. I'm a natural righty, and a lot of people don't know that, you know, but... um. I can't fight righty, of course, but... <laughs> oh, you're originally righty, then? Yeah, I'm originally righty. Like, I write with my right, I bat with my right. You know what I'm saying? I say bat because that's my first sport, baseball. But Likewise. that's a different story. Um, <laughs> you know, but shit, I'm a, I could fight. I'm a, I'm a great southpaw, and, and a lot of people look up to me, and, and, and that's what's important about being in a sport. Um, have people look up to me, like the kids, especially the kids, and... and and just overall, just just being world te- world champion coming out of the Bronx. I've seen you do Puerto a lot Rico. of work. I've seen you do a lot of work in the community as well. Yeah. Out in the Bronx, Thanksgiving, been doing holidays. That. Been doing that. I've been since seeing a, you for since the youngest. That's wild, wild. yes sir. Yeah, that's yes, nothing sir. new, man. Giving back to the community is very important, especially when you, when you coming from from the hood. You know what I'm saying? What, what people say, like from the Bronx, from New York, people that don't have nothing. You gotta look. You gotta you gotta you gotta help those people out because. We fight for our fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, we got to support others. Mm-hmm. And it's not just worrying about yourself, you know what I'm saying? You can't just care about yourself and not care about others, you know what I'm saying? I have a heart, too. I have I have feelings, and, and and I feel for other people, so it's important to give back. I see you got some more to fight. You got some more strength, and you got some more courage, and you got some more motivation behind you now that you're a dad to fight for. Now... I see that's pushing you even more. You got a little man behind you, and you're going to bring home the championship to the family. Shit, I'm fighting. Now I'm fighting for, 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 for a real reason, which is my son. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, like you said, I became a dad now, so I got to remain focused at all times, making sure I'm doing the right thing 24-7. And that way I could teach my son how to, how to, how to be a great person growing up. You trained by your dad as well. We will see that it's you're very uh, family oriented as well, man. And it continues. Uh, being at top rank, you had a fight back in Florida this past April. You guys yeah. were on a card in ESPN. I was down there. I seen that going on. How's the relationship with top rank? It's going great. I love I love top rank. I I appreciate I appreciate Bob Aaron, my matchmaker, uh, my manager Richard Roman for just giving me the opportunity. That I always been waiting for since I was a kid, you know. Um, I've been calling out for this, been calling out this guy to fight for about a year now. I don't know if people saw it on social media, but I've been posting it like I want to fight this yes, dude, Cepeda. Like I'm ready it. for this step up. It. I'm ready for this step up and take over 140. Like I need to be top five. Like I belong there. Like it's one of the hottest divisions in boxing. Yeah, but everybody that knows Josue Vargas, everybody know what's up, man. Like I, I don't, I don't, I don't play. I don't play boxing, and you don't play boxing, man. Yeah, I, t- I take this serious. So therefore, I belong where I, where I belong, at, and that's top five in, in, in the one forty division. We taking over. I'm telling you, we taking over the sport, and we got a lot to show still. Like I felt like I haven't shows everything I got yet in the ring. You know what I'm saying? You're a young man. You're still very yeah. much young in this game. Like, I've been dropping dudes in sparring. So, if I could drop a dude in sparring with 16 on gloves and headgear, yeah, headgear, for the people that say I can't crack, that I, I, I got pillow hands, I laugh at that. I don't even pay mind to that because at the Tell end of the day... Tell them step in the ring. Tell them step in the ring with you. At the end of the day, man, listen, when you go for the knockout, you don't get the knockout. In my last two fights, I've been looking for the knockout. So, you know... um, my last fight, I fought a, a tough, uh, 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 rugged, tall, l- linky fighter whose name is Willie Shaw. And Willie came out swinging. Went I crazy on I you, man. There, I went in there thinking I was going to take, take him out easy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Knowing him that he had 15 fights, I'm like, he don't got the experience that I got, so I'm going to go in there and bully his ass. But if I would have, trust me, if I would have fought my fight from the get, from the first round, I would have taken him out of there. But every time... I was going to the corner. I'm like, I know I could take him out because I felt that. Like, I just felt like I was stronger than him, better than him, more experienced than him. Yeah. But prop, props to him. He, I respect him because he went in there. He did what he had, what he had to do, and, and, and he gave me 
all ten rounds and he gave me a fight. So that shit, that shit was good. It's always good. It work. got me ready. It got me ready for 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 a step up like this. Cause you always need to put in the rounds. You mm-hmm. always need to get in the rounds, and and that's something that I've been getting the last the last three fights. Shit, I've been ten rounds. Like I said COVID put a hold to people. A lot of guys came back off a of ring rust. You seen some top fighters slip up, and uh, I don't know if you just if they're sleeping on fighters or if it's the rust from last year that had everybody held up. But you look sharp in your last fight. You got the rounds in, and now you went for the big main event. We behind you all the way at Four Corners Boxing. We've been watching host way since the amateur and he turned pro and now it's down at top rank Madison Square Garden. It doesn't get any better than this, man. It doesn't. In my hometown, they gave me a fight in my hometown against a, a tough opponent who's ranked number two. And, and and I'm blessed. I'm truly blessed. Like I'm grateful for 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 how my career been going. You know what I'm saying? Because if I was, you know, I was signed by Floyd, but I was not staying busy as much, but now that I'm staying busy, I'm like I said, I'm truly blessed about that, man. And, and that's what I always wanted. It. I'm a fighter. I'm a boxer at the end of the day. So all I want to do is get in the ring, be great, and, and, and continue my and continue a legacy, you know, and, and just be world champion one day. Twenty and no Saturday night. My bet is on you. you. Know. you hear me? I like how you said that because we don't count as disqualification. No, I don't count that. It's on papers. I know that, nah. but. Not hey. on my not on my box record. <laughs> not, not on your on my book. box record. And I like that. For the people that really know me, they know what's up. They know I'm still undefeated. You know, I'm going in I'm going up to this fight thinking that I don't got a loss. And I'm looking at Zapata as he's undefeated as well. Cause his last his his two losses and his record on paper. Close fights. Could have gone either way. Well, Jose Ramirez, Timothy Bradley said he beat he beat. I, I had Jose Zapata Ramirez. win that I fight. Really watched that fight. I gave it but, to Zapata. From what I saw, he he was boxing. He was boxing clean. He boxed the, well the early. That I saw, he boxed yeah. well early, and then uh, Ramirez brought the pressure on late. He yep. was he was in his hometown, so it got pushed with it got pushed more to Ramirez, which he was the champion, right? You got to beat the champ to be the champ. And then the the first L that he took it was in the UK. He got hurt in his shoulder the second round, so that fight didn't continue. Terry Flanagan, yeah. Terry so Flanagan, I look at him wrong. like he's undefeated. Yeah, I'm stepping up to the fight like I'm undefeated too. I'm looking at this fight like there's a world title fight. I'm hungry, man. Like this, I call this fight the life changer because once I f- win this fight, it's nothing but Sky's but great the limit, things happening. Baby, sky's the limit. Sky's the limit, like you said. We from the Empire State, so you know, uh, like my yeah. man Joe says, it's only up, in, baby, all the way up. Listen, you hear me? Puerto Rico need another champion. ASAP. And, and, and ASAP. Sh- shout out to Puerto Rico, right? I love, I'm Puerto Rican as well, but we haven't had a, po- a Puerto Rican a champion po- in a long, in from a long the, time. Like, cause from the island, we haven't had. I was had, born there. Was so born I'm, there. I'm from there. Raised here. Yeah. So we're going to have, have a new champion here and you're going to carry the flag proudly because yeah. a lot of, we got a lot of fighters I out there. I see it happening. But they're not, they not, they not holding it down like you are, man. I yeah. believe in my work. I believe in... in, in, in I believe I believe in myself like a hundred percent. You like, got a lot of people really, behind I'm you. I'm really, man. really, really confident, and that's something that you gotta have in this sport. You gotta have confidence because if you're not confident in yourself and you worrying about losing this fight and this and the third and worrying about or just oh, fighting I, for I a won't check, fight him yeah, we don't, don't just fight for checks happen, over here. Then you in the wrong sport. Good shit, man. Good you're in the shit. wrong sport. Quick, 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 quick roundabout around the sport. Uh, your your stable mates at at, at top rank, Terence Crawford, Sean Porter. They got a big fight coming up. How you see that one going down? That's gonna be a great fight. Knowing that Sean Porter is <laughs> shit, he he was a football player, so he got that body and that pressure that that holds weight in one forty seven. And Terence Crawford, man, he's a great fighter. That's like one of my favorite fighters right now, as we speak it, but. Who's taking that victory? Who I'm betting my money on? Crawford. Okay. It won't be easy. It will be a tough one, but I bet you Crawford going to take that for sure. Okay, uh, excuse, Canelo Alvarez, Caleb Plant. Another great fight. Caleb Plant, somebody that I know, somebody that I came up with and me with a boxing gym when I was signed by Floyd, seeing him work. The kid is very smart, very talented, and, and he's going to give Canelo... Problems in the in the beginning of the round, but you see what Canelo, you, you can't understand me that guy, man. He's the man right now. Like that man, he he just gets stronger. It's like me. 
he just gets stronger and then later around. So that's why Caleb Plant got to be uh, uh, careful for. We're talking about 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mm. So Canelo, says, hope, it's, Canelo hope, says it doesn't go past eight. I hope Caleb Pan come out with a victory, with, with a victory, and, and you know we need a new champion in that weight class. So all four titles, yeah, unifying, right? Yeah, so yeah, something, yeah, unifying. All four titles, yeah. First time ever at super middleweight. Yeah, because uh, Caleb Pan got the IBF. Yes. So yeah, I don't, I want to see him take all the titles, but that if that's happening, we we gotta see what's up. One more big fight coming up. Tell me who you pick, man. Josue Vargas or Jose Cepeda? <laughs> Listen, I'm the underdog. And I love underdogs. Mm. So, with that being said, I'm putting my money on myself. We're talking about 20, 30K. What's up? Talk to me. My money's on you as well. <laughs> DraftKings. I'm going to put some money on my boy right here on yeah. DraftKings.com as well. You hear me? Let's go. Jose, Jose Vargas, people, the prodigy, Saturday night, tune in, ESPN, top-ranked boxing, you don't want to miss it.